Hey, it's Dr. Dave Candy from More for Life. I recently recorded a video about five acupressure points for sciatica, and I was contacted by the vendor of this electronic acupuncture pen. And I've taken it out and played around with it a little bit, and it's actually a pretty useful device. So I wanted to show you how it works, tell you a little bit about what it's good for, who definitely should not use it, and then give you a demonstration about how to use it. I will mention that I did run into a couple of issues with this when I first got it. And after overcoming those, it is a pretty helpful device, but I want to show you what they were. And that way, if you encounter the same issues, you'll know what to do to fix the problem. So first of all, what is this device used for? Well, acupuncture can be used for all kinds of different problems, but if you're someone who's not trained in it, probably the best thing to use this device for is just muscle tension or knots or trigger points, areas where you feel stiff or tight in muscles. It does actually come with a chart of all the different acupuncture points in it. And I'll open it up here. You can see there's all kinds of different points and it tells you what each of those points is good for. But if you have heart conditions, kidney problems, gallbladder problems, liver problems, you probably don't want to try to self-treat that. This is good for things that are probably more of an annoyance and you could probably live with them, but wouldn't really want to. And so again, like I said, it's really good for aches or stiff muscles. And I've tried it on myself, tried it on my wife, and it does actually really relieve muscle tension pretty well. Now I should mention that it does make your body part of an electronic circuit. So if you have a pacemaker or any other electrical device that's implanted in your body, you do not want to use this. Additionally, if you have active cancer or any other medical condition that you're concerned about how this might affect you, definitely talk to your doctor before using it. But that being said, how do you actually use the thing? Well, here's what's in the box. Like I mentioned, it does have that acupuncture chart with all the different acupuncture points, has a user manual of how to use it in several different languages. And then here's kind of the meat and potatoes of the device. So the device itself, it's this pen, and there's an electronic tip on here. It also has a conductive bar in it. And this completes the circuit. You hold this in one hand, and you attach the tip on the other side and that creates a complete electronic circuit and the current actually runs through your body. Now it's a small current, but it does go through your muscles and through your skin. So you take this and you put it in to this little port right here. Now you can see right now the device is off. You'll charge the device before using it with the charger that comes with it. And this is the same type of a USB charger that you might charge a cell phone with it. You will have to attach the USB to your cell phone charger or to a computer in the USB port to help charge the device. And when it's fully charged, this light will turn from green when it's charging to off, which means that the device is now fully charged. And after you have it charged up, you'll take the device and turn it on to an on setting. Now this two is the treatment intensity. You can turn it all the way up to 10, but I would recommend starting out at two, which is the lowest setting that you can actually treat things with. If you turn it up all the way to 10, which of course I did try it, it's pretty uncomfortable. For me around a six to eight is a comfortable treatment intensity. For you, it might be very different. So start it out at the lowest treatment intensity. This other knob is the sensitivity. So if you set it down at two, it's gonna take a really high threshold of electrical activity in your nerves or in your muscles in order to pick something up. If you set it all the way up to, to 10, it's gonna pick up more activity. So if you only wanna get the really bad things, turn the sensitivity down. If you wanna pick up on more activity or less problematic things, then you can turn the sensitivity up. Now that's also influenced by your skin moisture, the atmospheric moisture, how hydrated you are. Um, so that you may have to adjust that between sessions or between individuals. So what works for me is not necessarily going to be the same as what works for you. But after you have it turned on, you want to hold this in one hand 
or if you're treating someone else or someone else is treating you, the person who is receiving the treatment will hold the conductive bar. And then you move the device along the skin. So you can do it on your forearm and you can hear that this will start to pick up that clicking sound. Now this sensitivity is on 10 right now. If you turn this down, let's say we go to two, you'll notice it doesn't click as much. And when I first got this, I was trying it with the intensity turned down too low. And so it wasn't picking anything up. And I thought, man, is this thing broken? Um, I did eventually turn the sensitivity all the way up to 10 and I was just testing it on my forearm and it still wasn't making any noise. So what I found is that I did have to kind of discharge the electrode a little bit and just put a little electricity into the skin, just kind of to prime it. You need to complete the circuit or put a little electricity into the circuit to actually get it to pick up. But in this case, when I turned the sensitivity up, it started picking up immediately. Now, I'll use it on my calf just because that's an area where I know I have some knots or some trigger points that are a little more active. Now this is with the sensitivity set up at a 10. I'll turn it down so it's not picking up quite so much activity. This is a four. So you can see it's a little quieter around these areas. Picking up a little more there. Switches off a little bit there. Gets to a solid beat there. See, a little more of a solid beat there too. Now just to kind of manually feel, if I pinch there, it is a little bit tender. So that's a sign that it may be more of a knot or a trigger point that I'd want to treat. And so then once you have it at the active point, you'd press down this treatment button. Now right now it's set at a two intensity, so I don't feel it that much. I'm gonna turn it up to about a six. There it feels kind of like a pulsing. I can feel it a little bit more, but it's comfortable. You wanna hold it for about 30 seconds on an active treatment point. I turn it up a little bit more to say an eight. This is where it's getting on the verge of uncomfortable. I probably for myself wouldn't want to go any higher than this, but for you, the numbers may vary. But that's the way you use it to treat a stiff muscle. Now this also can be used for cosmetic purposes. It does have a cosmetic head that you use on your skin. That's not really my area of expertise, but just to give you an idea of how that works, you take the treatment tip off and you attach the cosmetic head here and then turn it back on on a pretty low intensity because it's on my face. Now sensitivity is down right here. So turn it up a little bit more so you can actually kind of hear it. Now this is down on my jaw muscle, which I know I have knots here, but you can use it kind of to help reduce the wrinkles in your skin, or at least that's what the directions say. I haven't used it for that purpose personally. Um, but if you think about people who have Botox in their face, they inject a toxin into the muscle to sort of temporarily paralyze the muscle. This is sort of doing the same thing of relaxing the muscle, but without injecting a toxin into your body. So if you're not into injecting toxins into your body, then this might be an alternative that could work for you. So again, you find the area where it's sort of clicking on a steady click, and then press the treatment button. Again there, I don't feel it that much on a two. I'll turn it up a little bit more. And there I can feel it a little bit more. So that's the cosmetic head. Now, like I said, you don't want to use this for any major medical issues. If you're having organ issues, 
The acupuncture chart does show areas that are good for treating organ issues, but use common sense. If you're having some serious problems, see your doctor. If it's just more of an annoyance or a knot or a muscle ache, or you want to see if you can get some wrinkles out of your skin, then that may be a good use for this. And if you are interested in picking up this device for yourself, I'll put a link down below. And if you're watching this video and you would like to see my five acupressure points for sciatica, you can use this on those points as well. And that may be something helpful for you. And I'll put a link to that video over here.